Africa Policy Day, where we talk policy on human rights. A very good morning and welcome to the 2022 edition of the Africa Drug Policy Day. We live at a time when our communities are challenged and sometimes overwhelmed by issues pertaining to gender-based violence, to mental health issues, HIV, TB, drug use, substance abuse. Uh, exceedingly, incredibly talented people are going to be helping us discuss this today. And we'll kick it off from there and ask, really, can we arrest our way out of the challenges uh, that we are facing? Uh, the, the first thing I want to say uh, is that we are very pleased to have UNODC and whatever we say, Sean, about drug policy is now we have the backing of, I think, uh, democratic South Africa's most uh, unblemished president of integrity, stature uh, and authority. President Kalema Mutlante. And what I heard from that uh, 45, 50 minutes of conversation between Sean and Edwin is that we really need to start shifting the paradigm when it comes to addressing the issue of drug usage in this country and in the respective cities and communities we find ourselves in. Let's bring in Maria. Uh, Maria Loglio is with the International Drug Policy Consortium. If you look at African policies, they are predominantly an approach that is rooted in the punitive criminal justice response. And that's, this kind of response is expensive in terms of the human rights and public health um, um, resources that are being spent on police, judges, prosecutors. In one breath, we are talking about human rights. And yet when it comes to um, the, 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 the uh, drug control mechanisms, we, we put aside human rights obligations by state and perpetuate harm on these people. And so why is Africa still adamant in trying to address many of these challenges and moving away from criminalization? And let me conclude by saying that until we sit back and assess the situation and begin to take a paradigm shift towards more of people-centered or community-centered approach, we are likely not to actually achieve these policies on the agenda 2030, as well as other targets that we have set for ourselves as a continent. That one of the things that is not included in policy reform is particularly going into the communities and asking, because the very same drug user is my brother, right? And the very same drug user is a boy in my same community. And therefore, I think, I think even the HIV response and the HIV communities, even um, um, the sex worker communities and, and the drug users communities do have the solution on how do, we, how, do we, how do we reform policies so that it impacts everybody. We see the global institutions themselves committing, you know, to, to changing the laws, even, I mean, with a political declaration, you know, last year, even coming to the communities to say, you, you, you know the solutions, and therefore, how do we do it? The same principles apply with all drugs. The only way that, that it wouldn't be unconstitutional to deny the person to use a particular drug in private would be if that drug is made more harmful through decriminalization. And there's no drug in the world that's made more harmful through decriminalization. We know that already. Thanks a lot, Sean. Uh, in a moment, we'll bring you a recorded message from Marco Texera, who's with the UNODC. Ladies and gentlemen, legislation alone will not be sufficient to address all forms of crime, and neither will governments alone will win this battle. We believe in a collective effort. A whole-of-society approach is needed to address the social root causes of injustice and that undermines justice values and society values. So how do we make sure that um, people are protected, right? So, so I, think, I think it's looking at alternative um, measures such as like the harm reduction, what, what result is it yielding, rehabilitation programs, and also um, looking at in communities themselves. I really think that we underestimate sometimes how communities themselves are looking at alternative um, measures. 
just to give a little bit of uh, a statement on behalf of Sandpoint um, and our team, uh, we just want to say uh, people who use drugs are people first. We're humans. Harm reduction and evidence-based interventions are needed to help improve the lives of people who use drugs. And by reforming and adjusting and standing up against the war on drugs, as well as current South African drug policies, only then would we be able to stand up and make a difference in our lives as people who use drugs, as well as in the country. Thank you. Africa Policy Day in partnership with UNODC, Sanput and TB HIV Care.